What's up? I've been wanting a uh, smoker for at least a couple of years. Um, so the first one I got is this one right here, 14.5 inch Weber Smoky Mountain cooker smoker. <laughs> so let's open the box and see what's inside. And I've got a diagram here uh, telling me what all the names of the parts are so I can know what they're called. So wield a knife in your hand carefully. And cut it open. All right, right on top is I don't know what this is. This is the uh, charcoal grate. And then we got uh, the top cooking grate and the bottom cooking grate. Got this very nice piece of molded stuff. Got a uh, small parts kit. This is the, I don't know, the heat shield. This looks like the water pan. I don't even see it listed on the uh, diving list. Oh well. Yeah, here it is, water pan. And this is the charcoal chamber this is the center ring and it's got the door on it uh, I got this uh, got the bowl here it's got three different adjustment thing whatever you call these I can't I'm blanking out right now and then we have the well this is obviously the top you gotta apparently gonna have to attach the handle it's got a thermometer And it comes with a uh, cover. That's what's in the box. So let's see if we can put it together. The kit small parts. Comes with the legs. There's the handle. Some bolts and washers and stuff. And the instruction booklet. And there are actually no directions on how to put it together. All we have is this diagram. There's three different ones. The one for 14 inch, 18, and then 22 inch. So the only thing that has to go by are these little uh, pictures here, which basically show you how the legs go on. So you can see there, there's a bolt. There's a couple of washers and a, and a nut. So basically this is just what you look at to figure out how it goes together. And you just kind of figure it out on your own. But it should not be difficult. And in the small parts box, I didn't mention they have the grate supports as well for the uh, charcoal chamber. And this bag of small uh, small parts here, you have some bolts, nuts, and washers. You have some metal washers, and then you also have some what's called fiber washers. Now these go on the outside of the smoker to protect the coating there. Uh, sorry, to put the legs, I need uh, one bolt, one nut, one metal washer, and one fiber washer. Uh, so I need six sets of this to put all the legs on. All right, so I've got the bowl here and I've got one of the legs and a flathead screwdriver. The legs go like this. Goes to the outside. We'll put the fiber washer there. And then the metal washer on the inside and the nut. Put the nut and washer on the bottom part. The nut and fiber washer that is. And I'll just do that two more times and the legs will be done. There we go. Then you take the heat shield and that goes right in the bottom. And then you take the charcoal grate that goes down there. And then the charcoal chamber. Then goes the center section with the door. But first you have to attach the, uh, the little brackets that hold the charcoal uh, chamber. So let's do that now. Alright, it's going to be kind of similar to uh, the legs. We've got some uh, fiber washers which go on the outside and uh, one nut and one bolt per hole in each bracket. These go on the inside and they go with the little bendy part at the bottom. Get your washer set up with your nut or your bolt. Through there. I guess we can go ahead and take the plastic off the door. There we go. All right, once you're done with all the holders there on the inside, of course, on the top. Looks like there's some, I just noticed these bolt holes on the bottom, but I'm guessing that's for uh, an op. If you want to bolt it down, I have no idea. There's no bolts supplied for it, so sit on there like that. Then you can put your bottom grates and your top grates in.
Well, I guess before you put those in, put the water pan in. And of course, the last thing is the top. All I gotta do is, uh, let me see if we can see it better there. All right, all I gotta do is attach the, the heat resistant handle, which is easy enough. Well, I'll say it's easy. I'll get this piece in there. There we go. That'll work. Well, I guess there's just one detail left, and it's this grommet that goes in this hole there. It's not exactly super easy to get that on there. I'm having a little trouble here. I'll be back in just a minute. Let me see if I can figure this out. Well, it ended up taking me less than uh, two minutes to do it, but I finally got it on there. And I guess, uh, you know, the dome, the dome uh, gauge, I guess, reads the temperature up here at the top. But I'm guessing if you want to get a better reading out where the meat is, or if you have a digital thermometer that can talk to your phone, you can keep it in here and uh, have it poked into the meat and just have it, you know, hanging out. But I guess, I don't know, that's just my guess. I've never smoked before, so this should be an interesting venture for me. All right, that wasn't too difficult. Um, so I guess uh, I'm going to make a video on how I'm going to go about seasoning it and getting it ready to cook. Uh, so if you want to see that video, you can, when it's available, I'll put a link in the description box or put a link on the screen somewhere here. Uh, or you can subscribe to my channel so that you see it when it comes out. So I appreciate you watching. Thanks for, uh, for uh, checking it out, and I'll see you next time. I almost forgot. Came with a cover too. It's a snug fit. Alright, here we go.